Rainer's room. Oh wow! So that's how you do it. Uh huh. This one looks more complicated, but it required less process. You're right, Reina. I would never have figured it out myself. That's not true. You can do some things better than I can. My name is Kazuki, and it's my boss Reina who kindly teaches me how to do my job, even though I'm such a shady person. No, but when you say so, it really motivates me. <laughs> That's good to know. Well, let's review this one too. I think B works better than A. Think again about the persona. Oh, I think B is more suited to this customer's taste too. Right? But try to barbarize. Why you think that way? If you can explain it in words, you'll have a clear understanding of it, and you'll be able to use it in your next job. Excuse me, Reina. May I have a word with you? The other day, one of my clients asked for you. Yeah. Okay. Hang on a second. I'm on my way. Reina. When you're done with that, please give me some advice as well. Okay, let's talk in the conference room in 30 minutes. Oh, um, Reina, you know, from your shoulder, uh. Huh? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Reina is the most successful person in the company, but she's kind to everyone and has a genuine personality. So the guys in the company can't leave her alone. I have feelings for her as well, but I'm too shy to talk to her in private. Ah. Kazuki, what's wrong? Signing like that. Oh, um, no, it's nothing. Are you okay? I'm here. If you have any problems. Oh, yeah. Let's go out to lunch now. Maybe a nice meal will cheer you up. Um, lunch? I'm sure Reina has never treated anyone special like this before. Yes, lunch. Or would you have preferred dinner? Lunch, please. <laughs> okay. Uh. You know, I invited you to lunch because I wanted you to tell me why you signed Aria. Oh, so that's what you had in mind. Well, part of me wanted to have lunch with you, of course. So what's wrong? You looked so sad, Aria. Oh, well, that's... I wanted to talk to you like this, but I thought it was impossible for me, being a shady person outside of work. I mean, well, I mean, in private, because your status is too different from mine where you can do everything. That's a lot of pressure. I'm not a perfect person. Everyone's expectations are so high that I feel like I'm going to be crushed. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. No, I'm sorry too. But I'm really a dark person and I brought about things. I'm always worried about how people look at me and I tend to say things too strongly, so I'm always worried about saying too much or what everyone else thinks. We all trust you, Reina. I really appreciate that. I appreciate that everyone bothers me for who I am, but I'm tired of being on my toes all the time, and sometimes I feel like I'm losing it. Then please be your true self in front of me. I'll accept whatever you are. What? But if you knew who I really am, you'd be shocked. That's absolutely not true. We all have our weak spots and our lame spots. If you can't show it to everyone, just show it to me. You're new here, and you're cocky. Ouch. I'm sorry. No, it made me happy. Thank you. Um, hey, Reina. Everyone's staring at us. And you were cold earlier, weren't you? Don't you have to go? That's okay. You're more important. Also, it's easier to teach you this way. But, but this... Is it annoying? No, no, not at all. <laughs> good. But I'm afraid things aren't working good at work. Okay, we'll work great today. Just the two of us until morning. Huh? Just the two of us until morning? I mean, you've never worked overtime before, have you? Yeah, because I don't want to be away from you, even for a second. Oh, to train the best employees. I can't take it. A few weeks later. Wow, Kazuki, you're so easy to understand. Huh? Oh, well, that's good. If there's anything else on your mind, just ask. Kazuki, please teach me too. Oh, and thanks to you, the last case went well. Oh, that's great to hear. You've been working so hard. Thanks, Reina. My work has improved rapidly, and people around me started to rely on me. Hey, 
Kozuki. Let's go out for a drink afterwards to celebrate. We should invite other girls too. Hey, Kazuki, can I have a word with you? You made a mistake here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll fix it right now. Of course. And I'm sorry, but I need to talk to you about work tonight. So I'll wait for you at the usual place. Huh? Uh, yes, I understand. That evening. Reina, may I ask what is it about work you wanted to talk about? Don't rush me like that. Oh, I'm sorry. She's been in a bad mood all day. Is she going to give me a lecture? What's wrong? You look like you want to say something. Oh, um, did I do anything other than make a mistake today? I'm sorry if I did something to bother you, Reina. You were fronting with other girls. Huh? I know, it's your job. But I just can't stand the thought of you talking to another woman. It's unbearable. Well, um, well, I'm sure everyone doesn't think that way about me. Besides, I'm only able to do my job because you taught me how to do it. No, everyone thinks you're cruel, Kazuki. That's why they're coming on to you like this. Um, Reina. What do you think of those women? Hey, tell me the truth. Honestly, I don't really care, but I want to keep looking at the cute Reina now. Okay, I'm interested, especially the girl who I helped with the last case. Okay, I understand. Excuse me, can I have a check here, please? Huh? Her mood changed again. Was this a bad idea? Come on, let's go to our second one. I just want to get a little more drunk today. Huh? Um, yes, okay. Here we are. Come on in. Is this a bar? It looks like a normal house. It's my house. Don't worry about it. Hurry up and come inside. What? No, no, no. I can't just go to your house. It's rude of me to barge in here at this time of night. I'm the one who told you to come here. Just do as I say and come in. You're acting a little weird. This place? I've got a room filled with you. Now all I need is the real you. And... I'm all set, so stop talking to other women and stay here forever. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's impossible. It's not up to you to decide. It's impossible or not. See? We're connected to each other. You and I. This is how we're going to be connected again. This is bad. <laughs> I love it when you look scared. I love you no matter what. I don't want to miss a single moment of your transformation. Reina, please wait a minute. Yes! Call my name more! Let me hear your voice. Please stop. How can I stop with you here? Huh? You're irresistible. What if the company finds out about all this? <laughs> it's okay. We're both retired now. What? I don't want anyone to see you. I want you to be mine. We're going to be together. Forever and ever. The information here is so sketchy. This information is supposed to explain what is statement about. But it doesn't make any sense if it's like this. I'm sorry. I'll look into it right away. And the graph here, this one is much easier to see. Don't use the same graph every time. It's something that is easier to look at for each case. Yes, I understand. My name is Koichi. I'm shy and inefficient, and I'm currently being scolded. And this person yelling at me is my monster boss. No, my boss. Reina. She's passionate about her work, serious and nice, but she's also extremely strict with her subordinates, earning her the nickname Devil Boss. Although her behavior could be considered as a form of harassment, she's allowed to do so because of her beauty, and some of her employees have been developed masochistic tendencies. Oh, um, Reina, about the corrections to the documents earlier? I mean about everything. I'm so sorry. She's so snappy again today. I'm jealous. I wish I could be scolded too. I wish I could switch places too. I used to get sick and tired of getting scolded by Reina every day like this. But recently, thanks to the increasing popularity of telecommuting, I've been getting scolded less and less. I get told to make corrections and notes, but the whole exchange is by email, so it's nice and easy. I don't have to come to work. I don't have to see Reina. I don't have to be lectured. I wish I could work from home all the time. Even so, not everything can be done by email. So we see each other every day for remote meetings and other business matters. So we've decided that this proposal is the best one. Any questions? Seeing her this way, I still think Reina is a beautiful woman. She's cool, gets the job done quickly, and now if only she were a little prettier. Well then, I 
think we're done here. So we it? Will you please remain here? Oh, uh, sure. Oh no, did I do something wrong again? You've been slacking off lately just cause you've been working from home. Your documents are dull as ever, and you didn't even listen to me during today's meeting. Oh no, she knows. Oh, um, I was listening properly. Then I'm sorry, how incredible is Reina that she's even looking at me while leading the meeting? Of course, I was lectured repeatedly afterwards. Now, if you'll excuse me, whew, I'm tired. I wish she'd give me a break, lecturing me even when I'm working from home. Hey, did Reina forget to turn off the screen? Gosh, I'm so tired. I don't want to wear a shirt inside the house. What? Reina's loungewear? And it's adorable. Oh, I've got a lot of things to do. Check my email, check the document, check the client's schedule. Smart. I'm gonna take a break and finish this drink fast. She completely forgot to turn off the screen. What should I do? I saw something unexpected from Reina. She's surprisingly cute when she's alone. And if you look closely, her room looks like a woman's room too. This happened a few times after that. And each time, I would sneak a little peek. How about that today? How was it if a simple mistake? Oh, I didn't just check with me. I understand. I'm really sorry. I couldn't prepare the documents for the meeting, so I had to have the meeting changed on short notice. And I was given a hard lecture by Reina after the meeting. Ah, uh, I can't believe I thought I saved it the other day, but accidentally deleted it. It was a careless mistake. Until the day after tomorrow, we do the document. See you then. Yes, thank you. Ah, uh, I've got until the day after tomorrow, which means I should have it done by tomorrow. Oh, she forgot to turn it off again. But I'm not in the mood today, so I'm just going to get out and do my work. Uh, this is all so good. <laughs> I like this one too. What? Oh, they're all great. This one's cool. This one's cute. I guess I just sent them all. <laughs> uh, this is Reina, right? <sighs> I miss him because we're back from home and I don't get to see him. No worry, I could smell him closer. Grab the paper cups he used for him and keep track of what he likes and what he does. Collect used paper cups? Keeping track of what someone does? What the heck? Is she a stalker? Sounds obsessive to me. But I'm happy because tomorrow I'll be able to see him for the first time in a long time. Oh, I should check to see if he's been touching with any woman while he's working from home. If he's seeing anyone. I shouldn't have heard this. Let's get out before she finds out. Well, there we go. But still, Reina is so obsessive. It's tough being her favorite. I'm going to work tomorrow and I don't know what I'm supposed to look like when I see her. I'm feeling even more depressed today. Good morning, Koichi. Whoa! Oh, good morning. Oh, why are you so surprised? Are you still upset about yesterday? Um, yesterday? Oh, she means the mistake I made at work. Haha, <laughs> well, something like that. Oh, after you. Thanks. We're alone in the elevator. It's so awkward. Oh, shoot. I'll pick it up. <gasps> Whoa! When Reina and I tried to pick up the pen she dropped, she lost her balance and a terrible accident occurred. <gasps> I'm sorry. Are you okay? No. I'm sorry too. Whoa! I'm so sorry! I can't believe I buried my face in Reina's breasts. She's going to be furious. Even if it was an accident? No, she's going to kill me. Oh, don't worry about it. I fooled you. Huh? You're not angry? Why would I be angry? Isn't there someone you like? How did you know? I have a crush on someone. Oh no. Well, uh, that's... Darn it! I can't think up any excuses. Well, after the teleconference, you forgot to turn off the computer, and I just happened to hear about it. After the teleconference, I see. Oh, I knew she was going to kill me. Come with me for a second. Huh? Yes, ma'am. So what exactly did you hear? I'm sure you can tell me all the details. Well, something about saving things, and paper cups, and... Oh, and the loungewear was cute. Here's the stuff. I'm so screwed. But he said... I was cute. I'm loungewear. Uh, Reina? <laughs> yes, actually, I'm in love with you. Um, me? So that means she was collecting my paper cups and following me. <laughs> That's right. So you were cute from the moment you joined the company. And I've been looking at you ever since. I really wanted to be your manner. So I worked really hard. I was happy that now we 
could be together every day. But I thought you didn't like me because you were angry with me every day. I'm sorry, but my feeling for you would overflow if I didn't do that. And I couldn't stay normal, but I've been holding back so that you wouldn't notice this feeling. But I guess I don't have to put up with it anymore. Huh? I know, it's dropping as bad. So tonight, I'm gonna give you some serious tutoring on that. It's out of office, so I'll be gentle. <laughs> Thank you for watching till the end. I will be grateful if you could subscribe and comment.